The candidates to contest the July 9 by-elections in the Marigot and Salisbury constituencies will be nominated today. The minority Dominica Freedom Party has already given early indications that it will not participate in the upcoming by-elections. The Salisbury and Marigot seats were made vacant after their elected members missed three consecutive seatings of Parliament. Leader of the United Workers' Party, Ron Green, says elected member for Marigot, Edison James, and Salisbury's Hector John will be nominated today. Yes, indeed, both in Marigot and Edison James uh, and in Salisbury, Hector Spags John will be uh, uh, moving to get themselves nominated as uh, as expected, but I should point out that um, the issue of um, an injunction, the issue of the clarification of the proper vac- vacating of their seats is still not an uh, issue that has been uh, resolved and uh, that the, the President has suggested and uh, is in agreement that the issue is sufficiently of constitutional importance and national importance that it should reach the courts. Um, we are a bit disappointed up to now that the Prime Minister has not uh, seen it fit to um, facilitate that business of, uh, of going to court in terms of the finances, which uh, um, was suggested that uh, would be met. It's, it, if it is of sufficient national importance to ensure that the Constitution is clarified, and then it appears to be the view, both of the president and otherwise, that the state should be a major a player in the financing of that uh, court hearing. The Dominica Labour Party's uh, Salisbury candidates, uh, Bentley Roy and Marigot's uh, Dayton Baptist, are down to be nominated as well. The United Workers' Party elected members have been boycotting Parliament following the December 18, 2009 general elections. They are claiming that the elections were fraudulent and corrupt. Meantime, the United Workers' Party has uh, filed an injunction in the courts uh, to determine the correct manner in which the seats were vacated. Well, it will seek to ensure that the matter of the vac- vacating of the seats are clarified in the courts. It is the courts to determine uh, precisely um, the... Uh, correct manner of vacating the seats. Uh, We believe that the Speaker's role has been improper and that uh, the state has, uh, has, uh, that is to say, the Attorney General and the Prime Minister have uh, rushed ahead and not uh, uh, sought uh, proper constitutional guidance in regard to the vacating of the seats. So it is only the courts that can resolve and clarify this, this matter. Which means, which, and in effect, it would mean that if the courts uh, do agree that the seats are not properly vacated, then the by-election would be um, would be off. So we will see what the courts say. A leader of the United Workers' Party, Ron Green. The six election petitions, uh, which are currently being challenged in the courts, uh, will get underway today and tomorrow. The matter was postponed following Liat's strike last week. Former leader of the United Workers' Party and elected member for Maricot, Edison James, uh, says United Workers' Party members will return to Parliament following the victory in the July 9 by-elections. Mr. James was addressing a meeting in Maricot at the weekend. Well, we've been asked if some people say, when you win the by-election, do you intend to go back to the Parliament? We have... We have every intention of serving in the parliament. We, as I said earlier, respect the institution of parliament. Somebody else said also, there is a fundamental right of anybody, any group of people, to take whatever action they have to take to draw attention to issues and circumstances that need to be addressed. We asked Mr. Skerritt, and I'd like for us to ask Mr. Skerritt, Mr. Skerritt, do you intend to do something with respect to the removal of some of the barriers going forward? What is the difficulty, for instance, in making the money available to provide ID cards? Ladies and gentlemen in this community, this village here, do we have a problem in, or, or would we not want to see people in this community and the country voting be using ID cards? Would we not what will have that? We are the only country in the region, at least, that continues to vote without ID cards. 
is there a problem among you with respect to ID cards? Am I going, of course, when I make strong representation for the voters of this country to have ID cards as the basis of voting? Former leader of the United Workers' Party and elected member for Marigot Edison James. The Dominican Labour Party also held a meeting for its candidates, Dayton Baptist, in Marigot over the weekend. Public Works Minister Reuben Blackmore says his government is working to take Dominica to the next level. Mr. Blackmore says a number of ongoing projects uh, could soon be completed. We have also the, the Valley Road project that has not, that has not, has not um, halted. It's going on. For matter of fact, the, the scope of work has been accel um, uh, accelerated over the past couple of weeks. And um, we had some challenges, of course, in, in Loda. We had to do some shelf and some cliff. It's been done. And, 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 and it has not been a very easy project to manage. Uh, very, very difficult. That's the color right they said just now. Because of we, Dominica is very beautiful. But we are also very ch uh, much challenged because by, by of our, of our top topography. And as I've said before, that it's very easy to build a road in Barbados. Also, you know, but it's difficult to build a road in Dominica. And it's much more expensive um, to, 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 to do so. That notwithstanding, the fact that we, as we have said, um, we have only taken an audit of our roads, of course, um, um, with the support of the, of the of EU and doing a proper audit of our roads to get a sense as to where we are and what we need to do. And to, to kind of adopt, as I said, a structured approach to, to addressing um, from the road network because, I mean, you cannot go anywhere. You cannot take Dominica to the next level, socially, culturally, or economically. If you only have 25% of your main roads in good, in fair condition, this is just totally unacceptable, and that is what you see in the taking to road roads to the next level, to, to bring it to a level where I mean people can drive with, with, with safer, with more comfort, and, and 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 you can get to work earlier, you can spend less money on the maintenance of your vehicle, uh, less tires, less fuel, and less 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 um, stress on on your, on your engine. He says the construction of a seawall and road improvement works for Point Michel could soon commence. And, and you go to um, Sufria Scott said that project did not stop. And then, then just last week, you have the technical staff of my ministry, last week Thursday, met with the villagers of, of Point Michel as we tried to embark on the construction of a seawall and road improvement project, which, of course, I, I want to see that the actual um, um, ten, um, tender, um, um, the, the, the tendering process for the actual construction fees. Um, the, the advertisement is out on the, on the Caribbean Development Bank website. So, of course, that has been out. And... After we have been through that process, you then go to the whole process of evaluation of the bids, and then the next process is actual, con actual construction fees. So we're getting, we're getting there. And you know the West Coast Road. Um, when you can recall, the Prime Minister um, had spoken about the four pillar program when he moved from, um, from Taiwan and, 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 and moved to a more, a more progressive um, 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 approach to addressing our, our foreign relations um, 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 policy. And we, we we establish some um, diplomatic relationship with the, um, um, the People's Republic of China. A number of persons vilify the Prime Minister and criticize the government. And uh, when we spoke about it, first of all, the stadium and the grammar school, and we spoke about the West Coast Road for the sea that we rely on, that's not true. And, and I'm happy that all, we all can see because these are, these are not things you can hide. You can see them act actually unfold in a practical way on the ground, a practical manifestation of, of, of those work on the ground. And we have seen the commencement and, 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 uh, of that project. And, 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 and the persons who were saying so many negative things, they have not called and say, well, well you know, but I'm sorry, you know, <laughs> I miscalculated you guys' um, um, effort. Public Works Minister Rayburn Blackmore.